Hi, I'm Josh Fishman, president and owner of A. Fishman & Son Diamonds here in New York. Welcome back to our Ultimate Diamond Education Series. Today I would like to discuss a subject which I think is crucial to you, the consumer, in today's diamond market. In particular, I'm talking about the difference between buying a diamond at the right price versus buying the right diamond. In today's marketplace, you have many options online to look at websites, online retailers who really don't own any of their own inventory but list tens of thousands of diamonds. And many of those diamonds may appear to be very advisable and favorably priced based on the GIA certificate and in comparison with other prices that you may see. But that is only the beginning of the test and investigation that you have to do. Because there is a very big difference between buying a diamond at the right price and the buying the right diamond for you. What do I mean by this? Many diamonds in today's market, particularly in round stones, have GIA certificates which are marked triple excellent, which means they have an excellent cut grade and an excellent polish grade and an excellent symmetry grade. But there are problems with some of those statistics because just because a diamond has a cut grade of excellent doesn't make it the right diamond to purchase. For example, there are two houses in the same neighborhood. One is much less expensive than the other, but they both have the same pedigree, the own same statistics, but one sells for much less. And when you investigate a little bit more, you find that the one that is uh, less expensive is right next to the railroad tracks. That's why it's less expensive. There's a disadvantage to that house. You won't buy that house. You'd rather buy the more expensive house that's two miles farther away from the railroad tracks. Because who wants to buy a house where the house rattles every 15 minutes as a train goes by? The same thing holds true with diamonds. The certificate is just the beginning. It's the format. But today's GIA gives excellent cut grades to many diamonds that are too small in diameter. Or where in a fancy shaped diamond, the brilliance of the diamond is lacking. Let me show you two pictures of comparative diamonds as an example. These are two identically graded diamonds. The one on the right measures 6.1 millimeters. The one on the left measures 6.5 millimeters, what a diamond should measure for one carat. They're graded the same, but the one on the right is much less expensive rightfully so, and it may actually be priced right for what it is, but it is not the right diamond to buy. The one on the left is. Similarly, these two diamonds are the same size, shape, quality, and pretty much the same on the certificate. But the one on the right is a much stronger, brilliant stone, which will cost more than the one on the left, which is duller and more of a crushed ice look. The one on the left costs less, and the price may be right, but it's not the right diamond. The one on the right is. Similarly, when you have two diamonds of the same clarity grade, particularly when they are in the lower end clarity grades, SI1 and SI2, the difference between the two diamonds may be immense. And you may have one diamond, which is a great SI2 with just a white little feather on the side, and you can have an SI2, which is terrible, which is black in the center. Looking at the two stones by grade only and certificate only, you will find that those two diamonds will sell for different prices, with the weaker stone selling for significantly less. But on paper, it looks like a bargain. It may be priced right for what it is, but it is no bargain. It may just be priced fairly for the nature of its quality but that doesn't make it the right stone to purchase. The better diamond, which may cost more, may be the right stone to buy. Also, if you have two diamonds, one with strong blue fluorescence, which may be a little bit better quality on paper, 
and one stone which is no fluorescent, which may be a little lower quality, the value may very well be in the lower quality stone with no fluorescence versus the diamond, which may actually cost uh, more, which has the fluorescence and the better quality. So in this case, the diamond that's the lower price stone may be the better value rather than the higher price stone. Again, it is not ultimately a question of the price. It is a question of whether you're getting the right diamond, a diamond that is a desirable diamond. And for that, you really do need expert assistance, which we at A. Fishman and Son are happy to provide you. Again, let me just reiterate, don't just buy a diamond whose price is right. Buy a diamond where the diamond is the right diamond for you. That's it for now. Until next time, this is Josh Fishman saying so long.